Hello ladies and gentlemen, Andy here again, and some time ago I made a video saying that my Alfa Romeo 159 was dead, and there have been some development since then, so let me tell you about what has happened to my beautiful Alfa Romeo 159. Well, it's dead. I guess it's the short version, but to go deeper into it, back in January I was on the road and I lost all power from the engine, and at one point there was a huge amount of white smoke coming out of the exhaust, so I stopped, had it picked up and driven to the workshop that has handled the car ever since it came into my hands. That was in January. I was then told there were strange sounds coming from the engine, and that the engine was most likely fucked. I was actually planning on having the engine changed and had a new but used engine lined up, but the mechanic wanted to look further into it to make absolutely sure, and the workshop is a busy place and for whatever reason my car wasn't prioritized, so time went by. After a while the mechanic told me that it was probably just the turbo, so we might just change that, as that would be cheaper. So I said sure, as long as you're sure that's the issue, that's fine, and so I was pretty happy and looked forward to getting my alpha back. Parts were ordered, and time went by again, and after Easter I was notified that they had changed the turbo, but there were still problems. Turns out it was the engine all along, and now of course the engine that was lined up had gone. And the workshop couldn't find any engines that they could put in and give me a warranty, which means they won't do it. Which sadly means it was time for the Alpha to go to the grave. And yeah, it actually makes me quite sad, like I said previously I really love that car. And I'm a little bit frustrated with the workshop of course, but there's nothing really to be done. But at least I didn't have to pay for the turbo and whatnot. I know there's probably going to be <laughs> criticism towards the workshop, but I don't really hold it against them, they have been very good to me for as long as I've used them. So that was it for my Alfa Romeo, a car that I bought myself in 2017, so I didn't get to have it for nearly as long as I would have wanted. And if I had a garage with space for a car, I probably would have taken it home even though it's dead. But sadly, I don't have anywhere it can stay inside, so there's no point in doing so, really. So that's the end of it. That left me carless, though I already was, really, but now there was no hope in getting my car back, so I had to look for a new one. And then the same problem as before popped up, I don't want a new car, I want my car. But all the alphas I could find online was either too expensive or rusted like crazy, so that was not happening. So yeah, the last couple of months I've been hitching a ride with colleagues to get to work, and it's been really boring. So with a limited budget, I had to find something new, and after looking for a little bit, I ended up buying a Ford Mondeo, which seemed decent, it was really cheap, so it will probably break down in a month or two, but that's a problem for future me, I guess best not to think about it. The Mondeo I bought is the 1.6 liter diesel engine one with 116 horsepower and I think it's a 2011 model so it's as old as my Alpha was. It's a really practical car, it has a lot of space and some decent features that my Alpha didn't have but also some annoyances that my Alpha didn't have. It feels a lot different than my Alpha to drive too, as this one isn't as stiff and doesn't feel as responsive. It's just not as fun of a drive as the Alpha was. However, it's a lot softer and feels more comfortable, almost like a fucking boat. Something I imagine would be perfect for old people, which I am, I just refuse to accept it. That's not entirely fair though, the Mondeo is a perfectly fine car, a comfortable car, and I'm sure I'll grow to appreciate its driving feel eventually. As with every car, there are pros and cons, and my thoughts as of right now is that it's a perfectly decent car, it's just a little boring in my opinion. Like there's nothing cool or special about it, I feel. But what can I expect from my very limited budget? Anyway, that's what's up with my current car situation. Next time I'm definitely getting a car I really want, 
but card deaths always comes at a bad time it seems, so my budget will probably be just as limited next time. Stupid cars not knowing when it's a bad time to die. But yeah, that's about it. Let me know what you think about the Mondeo in the comments. Is it a shit car or is it decent? Now, I'm going for my annual 6 hour drive to my friend Sanda because it's 24 hours of Nürburgring this weekend. It's available on YouTube and you should definitely check it out. I hope you all enjoy the race and have a lovely weekend. As always, thanks for watching and goodbye.